and hello YouTube this is GS Man of Smart and I'm here today with another brand new Windows 7 tutorial now as you can see all my icons here are gone because this is gonna be a desktop kind of tutorial so I had to hide my icons and today's tutorial will be concerning uh, gadgets gadgets is a new Windows 7 add-on now be aware I'm running on a Windows 7 I'm not running on a Mac even though I have the dock here at the bottom and I have the uh, menu bar up here looks like a Mac I apologize if it bothers you, but we're not going to be using the menu bar or the dock today, so just ignore that. We're just going to, we're just going to be using our desktop. Now, basically, what gadgets are are the stuff that you can move around, uh, like sticky notes or a clock, and you can basically interact with it and customize it the way you want. You know, every every, every gadget has a little toolbox here. You can just click options, or you can right-click the gadget. And you can change the opacity of it, you know, how transparent it is. Uh, some of them, you can put it always on top. You can move it. You know, some gadgets you can uh, change the size of. The only thing I really use is sticky notes. I mean, I don't really use gadgets that much, but some people like them a lot, so that's why we're gonna be showing you how to use them. Now, sticky notes is not really a gadget. Sticky notes is more of a program. You can click your start button and just type in sticky notes, and it'll pop up. And you click and this opens and you can like make notes. Now to wait that now the way to add gadgets, all you have to do is right click on your desktop somewhere, click gadgets here at the bottom. This will pop up. And all you gotta do is basically double click a gadget you want and boom, there it is. You have your gadgets open. Now you can have as many gadgets as you want here and organize them however you want. I mean, there's plenty of gadgets here. And the way to close them, you can either just press the X button here, or if the gadget doesn't have it, you know, you can right click it and you can click close gadget and they'll go away again. Now how do you get more how do you get more gadgets? Now if you right click and click gadgets again, and here at the bottom it'll say get more gadgets online. And don't follow this link because this link is a lie. Well it's not a lie, it's they just changed it. I mean it was there. Uh, they said that they don't focus on this anymore because of other st stuff. I don't know what. And they no longer host the gadgets thing. So I found two good websites that give gadgets. Now put those links in the description. I found this website right here. All you gotta do is click gadgets at the top here, and you can basically just get the gadget here. You can go by uh, category on top here. You can go by top 100 gadgets and basically just um, add it to your desktop so this is one good website that I found the other good website that I found is this one right here same idea basically gadget gallery same idea on the right side here you can select the category and just what they call it widgets but it's, it's a gadget widget gadget however you want to call it widget is for the Mac I guess but either one works so this is basically how to add them and then you can just do the same method again right click your desktop add gadget and then you have it so these two websites are good ones if you find any other ones you can share them with us in the uh, comments but I forgot you can't even link things so you can just put the name of the website to share with everyone I guess but that's basically it that's how you add gadget and remove gadgets on Windows 7. Now, like I said, you can do this on XP or Vista because it's a Windows 7 feature. And that's basically the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to subscribe to my, to my channel, I have plenty of other tutorials on Windows 7, on um, tutorials for, for things like GIMP or Wizard 101 or anything really. Um, so I have plenty of other tutorials, plenty of other videos as well. If you want to subscribe, if you want to like this video or comment, some feedback will be great. I do reply to all my comments within about two days or so. So thank you all for watching, and this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.